if you looked on social media, if you looked at social media, right? And when you look at social media, you see people in, in bikinis, women showing a booties, titties, men showing abs, basically people showing their body parts. All these challenges, the Bucks Bunny, the Bunny Challenge, the girl flips her ass up. The other one, the girl took my, my small waist and my got a big fat butt. What's the meaning of all that? What did our society have become to? I'm asking, what does our society come to? Because I'm gonna tell you something. All of it's bullshit. When I mean that all this bullshit is that people are gonna do what they wanna do, especially when society tells you, you could do whatever you want. And that's what they do. You could do whatever you want under the guidance of what they say. I remember in a, in a, in a, in a I'm a 60s baby, so I remember in the 70s, when you looked at a female, she was fully dressed, and she had some kind of respectability about her. You had one or two females who competed in sports back in the days, literally. You didn't have a masculine female uh, showing herself. She could, she, she knows she could play sports, but she, she wasn't being too masculine about it. And in those days, in those days, a lot of the females in those days, they literally protect their man. <laughs> I mean that. Whoever tried to hurt their man, they were coming at you full brigade. I'm not playing. If you tried to hurt their man, it was like if they was protecting their babies. Now, 2021, hmm. nah, it's an open field market. Men are expressing themselves how they feel about women. Women are still trying to devour men. I think in the last maybe 20 years, women just flipped it, switched it around, switched it. Thing. And now we're starting to see more of a woman and her independence. Now, have you seen these female athletes now? I mean, they, you, have, you had females that were bodybuilders. But now, these mother, some of these females are just like, how can you stand next to a woman whose muscles are bigger than yours? And even the women who don't work out, some of these women are just huge. And they be talking masculine. And then some of these men, their voice sounds so feminine. You see these men crying on social media? Oh, well, she left me. What the fuck? Let me throw something at you. There's millions of people on the planet. Billions, let me put it that way. Of course you're gonna feel hurt if 
You feel like you've been used, you've been betrayed. This is understandable. But if you think about it, if you think about it clearly, anyone could be replaced. Anyone could be replaced. Why would you worry about this one? Because naturally, that's exactly what you're going to do anyway. When she dumps your, your ass, she's going to dump you. But you somehow find another woman. The only problem is, are you going to treat that woman fair? Or are you going to treat her like shit? Because the other woman dumped you and treated you like shit. I know it's not an easy thing to do. This is why I recommend don't get into no relationships. If your man dumped you or your woman dumped you, don't get into relationships because you're not here. You're just going to use the person for a rebound to make yourself feel good, especially in the in in in. in in a sexual department, because you're going to look for that. I'm just keeping that shit real. <laughs> Pay attention closely. Real talk. If you ain't paying attention to the way society is, We are already in the new world. They know the new world's here. They should, the new world's coming, excuse me. It's a, been here. That's why they're ex, they, they exercising all these different rights. Hmm? It's been here. Pay attention to how women move. <laughs> Pay attention the way women move. See, before the women moved in secret, they was they was moving in secrets. Now, they ain't moving in secrets. A lot of them, they wide open with their shit and tell you what the fuck you're gonna do about it. You as a man, you clip her. If your woman is constantly challenging you, you better peep that shit. If the last five, if you say you've been with your woman for 10 years, if you know she's constantly challenging you, that shit is in the fucking atmosphere, bro. It's in the atmosphere. You know, if you you know that your woman's constantly challenging you, you say that my woman been doing it when I first met her because she's an alpha slash beta. When you look at it, it seems like she's not like that. She's, but she is, she's an alpha fucking man, alpha, excuse me, alpha female. Very strong minded, you know what I'm saying? But I've met her when she was in her late 20s. So I got a chance to, you know, mold her somewhat. You know I mean, it's not an easy thing to mold your woman the way you want it to be. Because your woman wants to mold you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't have to, because if you're like a man like me, I'm an alpha renaissance. It means I do everything. I'm strong-minded, cook, clean, all that. I don't really need no female. If I block my mind off of sex, I don't need your ass. What the fuck am I need you for? I cook, clean, I go food shopping, I, I do the laundry, I sew clothes, I do all that because I was trained by my mother and my father. Because they said in the future, well, women ain't gonna do none of that shit. Damn, if my mother was, to, if she was telling the truth. But I ain't got to worry about that. A lot of you motherfuckers got to worry about that. You got to worry about that because you get caught. You women, they catch you out there. I'm a hard worker. Got a car. You know, I live in my apartment. I'm not an easy catch because I'm picky. If I wasn't with my woman for 14 years, if I was single, I wouldn't even fuck with none of y'all. Because I already know the understanding. I don't need you for nothing. You know what I mean? I would have like probably four or five different female associates. I used to do that a long time ago. I didn't need to be dating no female. Female go, oh, do you want to hang out? Yeah, we can hang out. You know, she came over my house, that's it. But 
No, no, I'll drive her back home. I don't have a problem with that shit. I'll give her money, get in a fucking Uber, a cab, whatever you want to call it. And when I was doing it, <laughs> I used to get a lot of backlash. You scared to get emotional. <laughs> I used to get that shit. You scared to get to, to be emotional. I said, but why am I scared? You you scared. You might get your feelings hurt. I'm telling you, I used to go through this shit. I used to go, what? Why am I scared? I don't have to fucking um invest my time with with bullshit, because that's all it is, is bullshit. I said, if you're gonna be with me, you can this bitch don't. It never stops. I'm gonna be who the fuck I am when I wanna be. Now, can you deal with that? I don't wanna detour my motherfucking mind frame. Cause society got y'all motherfuckers' mind flipped. I'm telling you, females you're saying in, 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 in the 80s, oh, didn't tell you, you scared to get to fall in love. I said, I fall in love with who? I fall in love with me. Oh, you don't want to spend your money? No, I'm not on your ass. Why I got to do that? <clears throat> I got things to get. Things to buy for me. You selfish. You conceited. They used to say all kind of shit. Yes, they even say, oh, you must be gay. Yeah, they said all that. And I go, why I got to be all that? Because I'm not doing what you want. Pete, what the fuck? I'm telling you for my experience and I I don't pat myself on the back but I got experience beyond that shit bro I could write a fucking book if I want to but I decided to spit this shit out for free don't let nobody det detour you from what the fuck you thinking and how you feel and where you want to move I've been married yes I've been married by the law of the state sign the fucking papers Married for six years. You ain't, none of y'all gonna tell me nothing. These women today, bro, is a whole different ball game. And then here's the thing. A lot of the women are young. They want to be free too. They, 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 because they don't understand. They go, I want to be married. No, you don't. You don't want to be married. Because they still want to play out there. They don't tell you that. That's the secret. They don't tell you that. They be at their job flirting with the other guys and all that kind of shit. <laughs> huh? They straddle that motherfucking fence. You ever notice some females, they listen to their boss like the boss is their man? Real talk. Why would your woman listen to her boss like if that's her man? And he don't own the motherfucking company now. He's just a supervisor. But the word boss means supervisor, just in case a lot of you niggas don't know that. But she sit up there, oh, that's my boss. You know how it is. Nah, bitch. You had to do a fucking job. And he'll take that for advantage. He don't give a fuck. And the same thing, you, you, you go to church. You know, it's like your fucking wife listen to the, the pastor like that's her man. The pastor said that we need to, or she go, I'm going to church because pastor needs me there. Bitch, I'm your motherfucking man. She don't give a fuck. Shit, the pastor be up in here fucking your wife. And it happens all the time. The moral to this message, which is going to be 15 minutes. I know a lot of you ain't going to be the last that long. You probably even got up to this point. The moral to the message is this. Whatever you got here, make that bitch manifest. Live your shit the way you want. You let somebody dictate you just because they living with your ass. They start telling you, no, I don't do that. No, I don't do this. Because you don't know what the fuck is in their mind. Be a fucking alpha male. And if you're an alpha female, you know you don't want to be married. Because you want to marry some old simp motherfucker. A beta nigga. And then do that. Don't walk in our motherfucking path and think you will bring that shit our way. Especially me. I'm that motherfucker. That's why I came this way natural. Not him. I came raw. This is raw. What you seen raw? Just got up. 
Actually, I've been up for a couple of hours and was drinking my tea. But I want you to see me raw as I'm talking to you. Always in my representing all fucking times, all day, every day, the chambers. You understand what I'm saying? Even if I was single, I would never fuck with a lot of you because you're not on my level. I knew that when I was a fucking kid. Some of you women are just a fuck, just like some women, and they got all the rights. They go out, just want to fuck you, and that's it. Yo, dumbass, sit up there. I love her. For what? Listen to what she's saying. I just want to fuck you. That's a wrap. Well, you know, I'm I'm, all, I'm talking. I, I talk like this all the time. I mix it up in many different things, but uh, I'm about to get out of here. So I do what I do. What's in his head? I'm sure I'm in around. Man, I, I like it. I like my head when it's raw. Things are raw. Ain't got to be cute all day or handsome all day. No. Just be who you is. You know, accept who the fuck you is. Have you? Don't allow nobody to change the way you're thinking. Make sure you know you're doing what the fuck they want you to do. They can't compromise. Dead on. Um,